loves. And today, I'm revealing your secrets with my best friend and only friend, Jen McAllister. That is not me. Well, that's not me. <laughs> All right, can we just start? I yes, already. yes, let's get started. My friend and I used to shoplift underwear all the time because it's so easy. Then we got into stealing makeup and clothes. One time we both stole entire new outfits. Okay, but anyways, we were at this store and decided to steal some shorts and stuff. Well, I they thought we looked suspiciously on the cameras and chased us to the entrance and took us back into this room and called the police and put us in handcuffs and walked us through the whole huge mall in handcuffs then drove us to the police station where our parents had to pick us up. So yeah, I got banned from that store for a year, but I can go back now, so it's all good. But for a year, I had to pretend I hated the store whenever my friends wanted to go in because I didn't want to tell them I was banned. <laughs> Oh. I wonder what store it was. Probably Hot Topic. Once, the night after the end of March break, I didn't want to go to school because all the girls are bitches. So I spent the whole night praying that I would break my arm before 8 a.m. when I would have to leave for school and hopefully find a girlfriend there. What? Girlfriend where? But the next day I didn't break my arm at all. So once I got home, I spent a good hour banging my arms on corners and edges so I might be able to break my arm, but I didn't. And the next morning, I, my arms, were covered in bruises. What? You need to find more efficient ways to accomplish your goals because that ain't it. Please read, I have never told anyone this. Okay, by the way, a little bit of nasty stuff is coming, so get ready. So when I was little, me and my friend thought that sex was an exercise. So when she'd invite me over, we want to her room and we would play house. I would tell her that it's exercise time. And so we sat down and rubbed each other's private parts with our feet, with socks on. Yes, I know that's still bad, but I was in first grade. And now we're in sixth grade and we are still friends and I have very good memory and she has bad memory, so I don't think she remembers. Oh, Jen, it's exercise time. I don't work out. You're not about the cardio. It's not exercise time. Okay. What about later? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I have two pretty different secrets to confess. I hope you're ready. When I was super young, I had this friend and she kept asking me to come to the bathroom in school and try something she'd seen on TV. We honestly must have been about eight at the time. So I went with her and she ended up telling me to pull her trousers down and touch her bits. Who says trousers and who says bits? This person must be from British. England. Pull down my trousers and touch my bits. <laughs> I was confused, but I did it anyway. For a while, she kept telling me to come with her, and then after a while, she stopped asking and stopped being my friend. I was kind of upset. Then I grew up with this memory, and obviously now I understand what was going on, and I still see her around, and she always looks at me and never speaks to me. I've never told anyone until now, and I never knew what to do about it, and I have no idea if she even remembers. Oh, and I'm a big animal lover, but I accidentally killed my auntie's goldfish by overfeeding it around the same age and blamed it on my brother. That floating goldfish still haunts me. Love you by the way, X. X. I was like, whoa, love, that caught me off guard. She keeps speaking in meme and I'm ready to not hang out with you until this passes. <gasps> until the sickness passes. It's mathematics love, X. One time I was on vacation with two of my friends and they're low-key bad friends and are the selfish. And I got upset because one of them said something and in the middle of the night, I went to the bathroom and stuck her mini bottle of sunscreen up my the JJ. This is so bad, I'm sorry, lol. Is that supposed to, was is that, that sp like supposed to be ve bad vengeful? For them? What? Were you hiding it up there? That's just she couldn't like use it. yeast infection waiting to happen. When I was in fifth grade, I saw my friend's armpit hair when she raised her hand. I felt really uncomfortable for some reason. She's my BFF now and she still doesn't know about it. And I'm freakishly tall for my age. I'm 12 and 5'10", and I'm taller than all of my friends. I'm really insecure about my body because being taller, I weigh a lot more than everyone else. Everyone is around 100 libs, but I'm 140, and that's just because I'm way taller than everyone else. But still, I feel fat. Self-conscious, love, who thinks that hard, XX. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if that's funny to you because it's not funny to me and it's like beyond hilarious to you. Oh. 
You mad? Oh. Jen? Hello. When I was 12 years old, me being me, I would watch videos on how to masturbate. I tried, and then I peed all over a rug in my room on accident. It smelled terrible. So I rolled the rug up and put it in my closet. Next thing you know, we hired someone to find the whatever the smell was. Little did they know, I peed on it and put it in my closet. I haven't masturbated since. Really? <laughs> So I used to volunteer at my local church. Basically all I did was look after five year olds for free. And all was going well until one of the little brats gave me head lice. I was really fucking pissed by the way. So fast forward a couple days and I'm at school with my friends. They were all pissing me off that day. They were constantly fussing about me and calling me their little baby. So for revenge, I pretended to be really tired and constantly lean on their shoulders and hug them. To which they thought I was just being cute. And really, I was infecting them all with head lice. The next day, they all came to school crying about having lice, to which I cried with them as to not be suspicious. To this day, they still don't know it was me. They still think I'm a little angel, and they still piss me off. Damn. You need to get some new friends. Or maybe they need to get some new friends. You all need to get some new friends. <laughs> you just need to separate. What the hell? Like the little lice in your heads, you need to just... Yeah. <laughs> I killed a frog with a friend when I was younger. We stuck a stick up its ass. Honestly, we both feel no remorse. It was in Tennessee, and there are frogs everywhere. I'm not trying to do that whole I'm insane thing. Me when I'm insane. But it was kind of fun. Ew, that makes me so sad. Ribbit. <laughs> do your best, Ribbit. 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 Oh. She's looking at us like, yeah, what's up? Ribbit. 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 Rip it. Rip it. Let me get her. Move slowly. I'll go this way. I feel like this is a very ineffective way. <laughs> no! Yeah, that's not how you do it, love. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? No one knows this! So I had a friend from kindergarten, and we were pretty close. He moved to Florida five years later. Flash forward to 2016. He came back! and is surprisingly my neighbor. In 2018, he started dating this bitch called Rebecca. At that time, I started to like him. So I kind of sort of mean girl her ass. I became friends with her to ruin her life, except she sadly doesn't get hit by a bus. Remember that happened to me, girl? Oh. Sadly, she didn't get hit by a bus and she changed schools. After that fiasco in 2019, he said that he liked me and now we're dating, but... There's a lot of dots. I sort of kind of maybe accidentally decapitated his cat and he thinks it was Rebecca and now Rebecca is in a mental hospital because they think she's a psycho. Yeah, right. Wait, what? Why is this not about the cat part? Because this person clearly has no remorse. Like it's all about this bitch Rebecca, but not about the cat. How do you accidentally decapitate an animal? You don't. You lie about it because it's not true. You purposely do it. What the fuck? What the f I hate this. Do you understand? Do you think this sickens me every time I film a video? That this makes me sick in the head? Cause I feel sick in the head because of you. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, love. <laughs> I'm literally speechless right now. <laughs> so, my boyfriend put his jewel in my pussy and started hitting it. He did it for so long that the jewel started to get hot. I want to take it out, but I don't want to be mean, so I left it in. It ended up burning and scarring my vagina. That's disgusting! <laughs> That's not mean to take something out of your vagina if you don't want it in there. Disgusting! This is probably not really about a secret, but it's haunting me, so I need to share it. I have a younger brother. We're about two years apart, and as I'm writing this, I'm 19 and he's 17. So once, maybe four years ago, I was a shithead, and I went to his room after he fell asleep and snooped through his phone. I had memorized his pattern lock thing, and after seeing him enter it over his shoulder, I couldn't enter chat conversations that weren't open because it would show up as red and leave evidence of my... Sp spionage? 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 Bionage. Bionage. But there were some conversations with a few girls. They had been open not long ago to so my brother himself, so I would say that showed some dirty talk. Mostly one-sided from my brother. Ew. And I took pictures of that with my own phone and shared it with friends, lol. So that's one part of the secret. Part two is not directly related, but... 
Kind of. So this March later, I guess two years ago, I'm away from home for a few weeks and suddenly I get a message from my brother and it's a video. I open it and it's a few seconds long and it's a video of someone jerking off. So just the hand in the dick is in view. <laughs> but I know it's my brother because I know what his dick looks like. That's not what it says. Because I recognize our living room. Yes, he was jerking off in our living room couch and he doesn't send anything else afterwards and I'm just appalled. I have no idea what to do because I know that he knows I've seen it. So maybe an hour later in desperation, I sent back something unrelated that had to do with whatever conversation we had the last time we messaged each other and he went with it. So we just never spoke of it again. But the memory of the video is forever burned in my brain and I'm traumatized. Also, he was obviously gonna send that to someone else and I'm very much not comfortable with him sending dick pics to people. But it's not like I could lecture him on it without bringing up the whole ordeal and feeling an unbearable amount of awkwardness. So I'm just here now, hoping he doesn't do it anymore and that he doesn't send dirty texts to girls anymore, yikes. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> One time I was riding my bike home together with my friend and, and talking. I accidentally ate a big fly. I'm vegetarian. It tasted disgusting, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Last secret. Hey, hey, everybody in the house. Last secret of the night. Come on, girls, put your hands together. Woo! Uh, one of my friends from middle school graduation was like getting bullied from that same axe hat that bullied me. So when he was walking up on stage, I tripped him. He broke a leg and arm and his neck. Yeah, fucking right. Our friend you tripped him and he broke his leg, arm and neck. You never know. Our friend group laughed. I was sent to juvenile home. I still keep in contact with that friend. Also, I'd like to say, Lily, it breaks my heart that cancer took you before you could graduate. R.I.P. Lily. And I hope you die, ass hat bully bitch, small dick ass. <laughs> What the fuck? Who's Lily? What just happened there? <sighs> Literally traumatizing love. Um, no, this was fun. You enjoyed it. Have me back again. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. I upload videos every Thursday. And if you want to see Jen in another Revealing Your Secrets or just really any video, then you get this video to 100,000 likes. And if you don't, I'm gonna kill her. Get this video to motherfucking 100,000 likes. I'm gonna kill this bitch. Make sure you subscribe to my channel or else I might get killed. I'm scared. Love, XX.